ladies and gentlemen, this is the first time I've ever had to make a video like this. I don't even know if the microphone's close enough. Let me pull that close. Is that better? Yeah, that's much better. Let me just peek that audio. Um, this is the first time I've ever had to make a video like this, mainly just because um, I've never had anything like this happen. Uh, so when I was recording the most recent Gulf Coast Wrestling pay-per-view, uh, somehow the entrances got corrupted, but the main match didn't, I don't believe. I haven't gone through the whole thing to check properly as of yet, but I was going to have to make something anyway to kind of put up the font. So if the first match is a bit screwy, I apologize. I didn't know until now that the um, entrances for the first match kind of got not working. So, kind of got not working, yeah, that's how good I am at speaking. Um, so I went ahead and just, I made this, I'll put it at the front, the match is just going to kind of start, um, so I do apologize <laughs> if it's a bit weird or clunky, um, but the rest of the matches should, they look fine, so I'm assuming they're fine, um, and I'm going to leave it at, you know, that they're fine. If anything else happens, uh, just... This is your forewarning to begin with that like it's probably going to be a bit strange. Um, I also have no idea what. Oh, cool, sweet. Um, but yeah, no, that pretty much just heads up. It's like I didn't mean for it to be so screwy. Um, I had just moved my computer and everything around, and so I, everything's been kind of strange when it comes to recording that, and I've recorded it so far in advance for this specific reason and I just wanted to make sure that like everyone knows although nobody really watches the videos anyway I for integrity reasons just was like hey it's gonna be a little screwy I do apologize but it should come back and do better um and the next one I think the next one I don't know if I mentioned or not it's reloaded um it's kind of like a tribute show to WCPW um who's shows after they rebranded from WCPW to Defiant or Reloaded. So that's what the pay-per-view is named after. But pretty much that's it. So thank you guys for watching. If anything else changes, I'll let you know. Ladies and gentlemen, we are officially underway here in our first match of stardom. It's PCO, Matt Riddle, Post Malone. PCO, like I said, making his debut here in Gulf Coast Wrestling. Post Malone's got a couple ma a match, I think, under his belt so far. And Riddle, of course, the internet champion, immediately going for a pin and a big kick out. Not even a kick out, PCO just stopped the pin altogether. Seems to be just a brawl all for all three right here in the middle. Post Malone and PCO trying to work together here. Double backbreaker. Now Post Malone turning his attention to PCO, but Matt Riddle right back to his feet. Raking of the back to PCO. Pushing him off. PCO and Post Malone is a match that is is just a wild match to think about in any context. It's just a wild match. PCO trying to lift Riddle, but not letting him. Oh no, picked him up, threw him. Halfway across the ring. PCO is seeming like he's trying to take out both men at the same time here. And a suplex to Riddle. Went for a drop kick, went for a big boot. One went high, one went low. Irish whip into the ref. Post Malone picking up Riddle for a pile driver. Bet that didn't feel good. Now, Bulldog by PCO taking the advantage. Irish whip into the corner. Nope. Reverse into a clothesline. More of a rebound. Now, Riddle getting the first weapon of this triple threat match. There are no rules in this triple threat match. The knee right to the face of PCO. And a Elbows right to the chest. I really feel like I should enunciate P-C-O more often than saying Piscio. Picking up the kendo stick. Going after Riddle, but Riddle with a clothesline. The combinations there to Post Malone. 
and PC over the drop kick taking down Riddle. And Malone, PCO, into a face buster right on the knee. Riddle seemingly being stopped at every turn. Big drop kick to the back of Riddle. Now PCO with a sledgehammer. This won't be good. Oh, right to the midsection. Luthez pressed by Post Malone now. And now choking PC out on the mat. I guess if you kill him, that's one way. But good luck. Steve Macklin couldn't kill PCO. A drop kick to PCO. Riddle with a reversal. Off the ropes. Forearm. Right to Post Malone. Ish. Bulldog again to Post Malone. And a kick out by Post Malone. Overhanded chop. Now a neck breaker. PCO going outside, grabbing the kindo stick, going after Post Malone now. Now sleeper hold in. PCO with a reversal. Oh, right to the midsection with a sledgehammer. That's still coming. And a stunner to Riddle. PCO grabbing Post Malone by the scruff of the neck. Now Post Malone though with the elbows trying to get out of it. Into the steel steps. Flatliner there by Riddle to the outside. You can see how thin the mat looks. In the floating barricade. Both men getting thrown back in the ring by, I believe, PCO. Grabbing the sledgehammer. Now an RKO to Post Malone. Now a sledgehammer to the midsection. Going for the pin, but Riddle right there to break up the pin. Russian leg sweep into a float over punches. Big boot by Riddle. Off the top rope into a Superman punch off the ropes. Now the punch is to the side of the face of PCO. And just footing him in the face and in the side. Post him on with a baseball bat now. Waiting for Riddle to finish the torture on PCO. Now double knees to the back. Baseball bat right to the head. Just whacking him with a baseball bat every turn. Stomps to the midsection. To the chest. Devinating. Devinating? Devastating stomps. Stomps the arm now. Into the referee again. Snapmare. Face twist. Post Malone with a good set of moves here. And a tour of the world almost. Now Riddle with a sledgehammer gets caught with a big boot. Sending him right out of the ring. Post Malone getting sent outside the ring. You know, beats to the Baron. Just wailing on him. Good lord. Matt Riddle's got PCO. Put it, got him on the ropes. RKO. And post Malone there to break up the pin. Overhanded punch. 
Plus, plus one denim on the ropes. Big jumping knee strike to Riddle right in the bloody face. Picking him up. Snake eyes on the ropes. Or stun gun. And a kick out at one by Post Malone. Mount Riddle back in the ring. Now the kicks by Riddle. Almost Post Malone and PCO almost teaming up on Riddle, the champion. Post Malone up on the shoulders of PCO, but Post Malone reversal on the sledgehammer. Now Mount Riddle pounding PCO's face with a fist. Now kick to the midsection. Up for a powerbomb and an RKO. Went for a stunner and now the elbows again to the chest. Both men went high. Superman punched. Going immediately for the pin. And couldn't get there. PCO was just a little bit behind, messing with the steel steps outside. Superman punch. And Matt Riddle retains the internet championship. Now we move on into our second match of the night. Triple Threat Tag Team Action. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back with our second match of the night. It is a triple threat tag team match, ladies and gentlemen, and it is for the Gulf Coast Wrestling Tag Team Champions. Championships. I don't know why I always stop at champions. Every time. But we have the current reigning, defending tag team champions, the Motor City Machine Guns. Alex Shelley and Chris Saban taking on the system in Brian Myers and former Gulf Coast Wrestling Internet Champion Eddie Edwards. And they will be taking on in the triple threat match the reuniting Connor and Jared White. Jared White went off to try and capture the Internet Championship himself, was unsuccessful in doing so, has reunited with his family member Connor to try and bring the tag team championships back to the family. And I say the family because their other family member is the former tag team champion, the former inaugural internet champion, and the current reigning world champion, the dashing one. They are all related, and now Connor and Jared White are looking to bring some tag team championships back to the family. Like I said, this is a triple threat tag team match, so anything goes, I'm fairly confident. No rules. And it's first person to a pinfall or submission and quickly while we're going through the entrances I'll run down the rest of the card next after this match we have the women's championship match Billy Starks will be taking on Deanna Perrazzo in a one on one championship match for the women's championship in the match after that we have the returning Ricochet taking on the new Clash Case holder Hangman Adam Page in a first time ever ambulance match. And then immediately following up the ambulance match, it will be Chris Danger taking on the world champion, the dashing one, Chase. But yes, we have quite quite the match tonight, quite the match card tonight. We have Post Malone making his singles debut, I'm fairly confident. Um, taking on and taking on Matt Riddle and PCO also making his debut as well. That match happened just before this one, so if you're just tuning in, go check out Post Malone versus Riddle versus PCO. And I will go ahead and spoil it for you. The reigning, defending internet champion Matt Riddle was able to retain his championship going into the next month, next pay per view. But now we have the Tag Team Championship match. 
And this match on paper looks amazing. Motor City Machine Guns versus the system versus the family or the cousins as they like to be called from time to time. Connor and Jared Wyatt. And here comes Jared Wyatt. After being unsuccessful in capturing the internet championship, he has now redone his look, gone back to an old favorite. Gone is the yellow hair and gone is the non-facial hair. Jared Wyatt with a brand new look. Looking to, if not capture the internet championship with his cousin here, capture the tag team championships. And here comes Connor. A man I don't think we've seen too much of. At least not often. But now he is here tonight in a tag team championship match. Connor and Jared White have both been in matches for championships, but have always come up short. So tonight they're looking to rewrite this wrong and make it a different story entirely. Sliding in the ring with his golden cape, looking to walk home with a little bit of gold, although it's silver. Like I said, triple threat, tag team match, anything goes with the tag team champions retain. Or will we have brand new tag team champions at the end of tonight? Edwards, Connor, Saban, Myers, Wyatt, Shelley. It's a lot going on, so forgive me if I miss a little, a couple things. There's a, so one man commentary booth, and there's two, four, six different competitors plus a referee. And he's not a well. The rapid fire elbow drops to the leg of Myers. Now Connor going after Edwards, trying to take the system out completely by himself. Now Shelly trying to get in on the action. Motor City Machine Guns taking on Connor by himself. Suplex by Sabin. There is a lot. It is just. It is just an all-out brawl. Immediately. It looks like the Jared White and Connor taking on Alex Shelly. The system versus Connor and Wyatt. Now cross face in on Connor now. Connor able to get out of it. Boy, wouldn't that be a shame if it ended right there. <laughs> now Saban going with a wild DDT on Jared Wyatt. Now Eddie Edwards introducing the first weapon with a sledgehammer. Saving Myers, hitting Connor right in the kidneys with a sledgehammer. There's so much alliteration to some of these names. Hitting Connor in the kidney. With a sledgehammer. Shelly went out, went for a dive, but crashed and burned on the outside. Edwards just got a kendo stick to the back of the head, and Saban with a forearm taking down Wyatt. Elbow to the face of Edwards. Another kendo stick to both Saban and Wyatt. Saban and Wyatt working together to take down Myers. Now a cross face on Myers. And Myers getting out of it. Kick to the midsection. Saban with a backdrop DDT on Eddie Edwards. And Wyatt taking down Myers. The system being taken down by Jared Wyatt and one half of the Motor City Machine Guns. Connor with an elbow. Lion Tamer now by Alex Shelley. Eddie Edwards breaking up the submission for his partner. 
Jared Wyatt looking for the third weapon of the match with a baseball bat. Connor getting slung. Say now a baseball bat getting flung. And I think Brian Myers just got his bell rung. Bulldog by Connor. Went for a pin. Didn't even get a one count. Kicks the midsection by Saban. Connor getting thrown again. And another wild DDT by Saban. Knee drop by Edwards got missed. Did Kendo stick getting flung again? Bulldog by Myers. White and Shelley going at it now. Bulldog there by Wyatt. Not Bulldog. Famouser. Going for the pin now on Shelley, but Myers there right there to break up the pin. Wyatt with a reversal on Edwards. Now the system kind of dominating the match here, but Wyatt with a reversal. Picking up the sledgehammer, taking down Myers. Taking down Shelley as well. Good lord. Now Wyatt and Connor in the ring, taking out Myers, working on them together. Going for the pin on Myers and a kick out. Shelly sliding back in the ring though. Connor and Shelly. Wyatt going for the pin now. And a kick out by Myers. She's, Myers barely just got that shoulder up. And I can see Myers is bleeding from the side of the head. And a spear by Jared Wyatt. Monkey flip by Connor. This could be it. And a kick out. Edwards just barely kicked out. That spear I thought was over. Wyatt hit his spear out of nowhere. Now the knees by Saban falling into the pin. Edwards there to break up the pin. Good lord, I thought it was over there. I like I could like it paused for a second. It felt like I was like, oh my god. Brainbuster there by Connor to Saban. And like everyone was out of the ring too, and that spear came out of nowhere. Connor just took out the only standing person. I'm just like, well, that's it. It's over. Shelly with an elbow. Now it's the only two men in the ring are Connor and Chris Saban. Wyatt trying to take out the system on the outside. Suplex to Myers. Now taking out Shelly. Knees right to the midsection. Connor with a sledgehammer, but Saban gets away from it. Saban picking Connor up. Crossing the legs into a driver. Two. And a kick out. Connor with a kick out. My God. My God. <laughs> Thought that was it again. Edwards back in the ring taking on Saban. Super kick to Edwards right in the face. I think a couple more people should get in the ring. Try to. Now Shelly in the ring. Not quite what I meant, but. Save him with a reversal to Connor. Right into Shelly's arms. Suplex! Shelly now going after Edwards after Edwards took out Saban. Edwards with a reversal on Shelly. Taking out the leg from Shelly. While well, Myers is trying to neutralize Jared White on the outside, but White with a reversal. The suplex. Neckbreaker to Shelly. Connor and Edwards working together slightly. Saban getting back in the ring. Now White getting back in the ring. Motor City Machine Guns versus the Cousins. Shell Shock. Myers. And I can't tell if it was a kick out or if Myers got there just in time. My God. Connor gets reversed by Myers taking out the leg of Connor. Running knee. Shining Wizard. Face. Connor with a Connor with a pin. Jerry Wyatt distracting Edwards. The Shining Wizard. Oh! Edwards hit Shelly with a Shining Wizard. And Jerry Wyatt was distracting Edwards. I thought he could have stolen the pin right from out from under the system. Oh my gosh. Jerry to the outside taking out Eddie Edwards. Shelly into a submission hold. He tapped! He tapped! He tapped! They've done it for the first time ever. They've done it. Connor tapped out Alex Shelley. Oh my God, they've done it. 
your new tag team champions. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is for the Women's Championship. Let me see if I can... Hold on. There we go. Is that better? I'm full of my mic. I'm leaning back a little bit. Um, let me put a thing in my chair. It is Billy Starks taking on Deanna Purrazzo here tonight. Uh, Mandy Rose got injured and is still injured um, and had to vacate the championship, which allowed a triple threat match to take place between Blanchard, Starks, and Purrazzo with Deanna Perrazzo coming out on top. She has now held the championship for 84 days and is the reigning and defending women's champion. But now we have Billy Starks with a one-on-one -on -one, uh, one -on -one match opportunity to defeat and dethrone the reigning women's champion in Deanna Perrazzo. Here comes the gold standard of the women's division, the virtuoso, Diana Perrazzo. With her women's championship around her waist. Like I said, she won a triple threat match for this championship. Coming in with all the confidence in the world. Perrazzo was champion in her mind before she ever won the women's championship. And there we're set. The Women's Championship. Billy Starks. The Virtuosa. Diana Perrazzo. Won in a long line of women's world championship matches or women's championship matches. I'm trying to see. Let's see. There's been eight women's champions. And only one woman has won this championship twice. And that was former women's champion Mandy Rose. She defeated Jordan Grace. Going for an immediate pin, but I think she was too close to the ropes. Peraza with her Irish whip, trying to get the upper adv advantage in this match with a big German suplex to start off the match. Picking her up. What a move, and slamming her down, almost faced first. That would have broken her neck. And just cranking the neck of Starks, taking her time, being methodical, just stepping on the chest and walking over her like she's nothing. And that's how Prazo treats most of the opponents she's in the ring with. But now Prazo being thrown to the outside. Starks staying in the, on the inside, now going on the outside, taking a minute to breathe. Knee right to the middle of the arm. 
Trying to take out the power of Perazzo. Kit gets dodged. Ooh, right into the steel post on the outside. Pros now taunting Starks. Kicks to the midsection. Combination by Starks. Prazo with a reversal, though. Not letting Starks get any momentum building here. No momentum going. Forearm to the back. Another forearm. And for a third time. Starks with a reversal. Kick to the midsection, though. Prazo looked like she was baiting Starks in. Right to the leg. Shin breaker by Perrazzo. Starks back in the ring. Now finally has the upper hand off of the ropes into a swinging neck breaker. At least this chair is quieter than the other one. Huh? <laughs> Stomp to the hand. That right to the wrist. Your thumb sits up like it sits up higher than the rest of your hands, and you stomp on. Oh, big move here! Going for the pin and a kick out. Not even a, barely even a one count. Forearm gets dodged. Forearm by Starks. Starks trying to change the tie of this match, but the forearm, the elbows by Perazzo. Irish whip, gets reversed into a big. Boot right to the chin of Perazzo. Starks calling Perazzo up. She's on the outside. Going through the middle ropes, taking out Perazzo. Breakneck speed flying through the middle of the rope. Perazzo now getting back in the ring, trying to get the upper hand. Throws her into the turnbuckle. Shoulders to the midsection, taking down Starks. Now a power bomb into a pin and a kick out, not even a one count. I think Starks is the only has been the only person in this match to get a one count. Prazo and both of her pin attempts have not been able to muster even a one count. Another heel to the chin, going for the pin. And a kick out by Prazo. This time a two count. Starks would kick to the midsection. Again, kick to the midsection. Clothesline. Elbow to the top of the head. Elbows again. Elbows right to the cheek, right to the face of Perazzo. Now Starks to the top rope, but Perazzo getting back to her feet. Gets a kick right to the face for her problems. And a kick out. Now that one didn't get a two count. It starts with a power up it looks like. Peraza with a reversal to Starks. Starks had the momentum but Peraza was able just to halt it. Now going for arm breaker. Fujiwara arm breaker. Starks able to roll out of it into his neck breaker with her feet. Prazo with a reversal. Picking up Starks now. All the way up. Gets caught. Suplex by Starks. Prazo with a reversal. Now slamming the arm on the mat. DDT. Jumping DDT. Going for a pin now. And that's it. Diana Perrazzo with a retain of her women's championship here tonight. You're reigning and still women's champion. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we move on into the co-main event of the evening. Ricochet. Adam Page, Ambi. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. After our women's championship match, we have our first, we're getting ready for our first 
ever ambulance match. And now we have former WWE superstar Ricochet in his first singles match, I believe, here in Gulf Coast Wrestling. Originally teaming up with Post Malone to try to win the Tag Team Championships, coming up short. Now he's out here tonight to take on the reigning and defending Clash Case champion, Adam Page. Ricochet with a beautiful move there, not even in the match yet. Or bring the mic a little bit closer. I keep moving it away. Because between, I like write something or change something on my computer in front of me and I move it away so I can get to the keyboard. I could probably just bring the keyboard closer, truthfully. But what's the fun in that, huh? Ricochet, yes, in his, I believe, first singles match here in Gulf Coast Wrestling. Of this new era, because I'm sure he's probably in an old one. Here is your Clash Case winner. The briefcase legend is not on the line here tonight. He won this match, I believe, an eight person ladder match at the Clash. This is the first ever ambulance match here in Gulf Coast Wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. This is a big, big match. And the co main event of the evening as well. You can see the briefcase in Adam Page's hand. There it is. That man has a briefcase, and that briefcase is an opportunity at any point, any time, any place to cash in on any champion of his choosing. Okay, well, that's a bit silly, but all right. Whenever Adam Page decides to cash in that briefcase, he can do it at any point. And here comes the ambulance. Here are. to force their opponent into an ambulance by any means necessary. After closing both doors, the remaining superstar will be declared the winner. This is a big match here for Gulf Coast Wrestling, the co-main event of the evening. Anything goes. The only way to win this match is to lock your opponent in the back of the ambulance. Mr. Clash in the case, we'll call him, Ricochet, going immediately for the knee, trying to get the upper hand. If Ricochet is able to defeat Adam Page, that might put Ricochet in world championship contendership. Because Adam Page, ooh, big move there, hanging him on the rope. Adam Page is effectively the number one contender for the world heavyweight championship. Immediately throwing him over the top rope. Ricochet on the top. Also, Ricochet's attire matches the theme for Stardom, which is kind of fun. Off the top, onto the ground on the outside. Ricochet immediately trying to get the upper hand on Adam Page. If he can, if he can stun him, throw him back, win the match, become maybe number two contender for the world championship. Because unless Ricochet has the briefcase, he can't be Adam Page. First person to put their hands on the ambulance, opening up the back of the ambulance. Ricochet to the outside, Adam Page with the upper hand, throwing him up against the barricade. Adam Page saying welcome to stardom by throwing Ricochet head first into the sign right there. Now with a kendo stick, wet, bamming him up against the head. Now Ricochet with a reverse with a kendo stick to the back of Adam Page. Good lord, right in front of the audience. Hurricane Rana taking down Page. Adam Page back to his feet. Overhanded punch. Now the combination on Ricochet. 
Samoan driver Ricochet though kip a big kick not giving Adam Page any time to recoup good lord st trying to yank the leg out of socket you take away the leg of Adam Page you effectively take away his power now I think he's already busted open Adam Page Adam Page with a reversal the hangman not mounting much offense here against Ricochet. Ricochet coming to fight, trying to get the upper hand. Bouncing his face off the apron now. Adam Page with a reversal. Kicks the back of the leg of Ricochet. If Page can take out the legs of Ricochet, oh, right into the steel steps. Adam Page taking the time, going for a chair now. Ricochet reverses, forearm taking down Ricochet. It's wild to see an ambulance there the first time ever. And Page throwing Ricochet, trying to throw him into, bounces his face off the inside of the ambulance. Ricochet with a big reversal there. Forearm. Gets reversed with a punch. Trying to throw him into the ambulance again. And Page gets reversed. Big counter there. Now, Ricochet trying to do it. Another counter. Big punch, overhanded punch, spinning back fist. Both men fighting up, upside the ambulance. Forearm there, taking it back into the ring area. Stalling suplex onto the outside. Now Adam Page getting Ricochet back to his feet. Ricochet though immediately there for the reversal. Kick to the midsection. Face breaker. Face breaker there. Adam Page might be out cold. Adam Page, though, not letting him. Bouncing his face off the inside of the ambulance. Now Adam Page throwing Ricochet in the back of the ambulance. Trying to close the door, but Ricochet... Not letting him now is just a strength and it's a test of power. Who's stronger? Bust both doors. Ricochet able to stay alive in this match, but Adam Page with a super kick. Back kick to Ricochet now with a baseball bat to the midsection of Ricochet. Overhanded baseball right to the forehead. Ricochet finally getting the reversal kick to the midsection. Going for a power bomb. And now power bombing Adam Page, but no, the reversal. He catches himself and f pushes him away. I've never seen so many reversals for not going in an ambulance. Now Adam Page trying to throw him in. Ricochet with a reversal. Adam Page throws himself into the back of the ambulance. Adam Page. Now it's another test of strength. Adam Page trying to force the door back open. It's a even Stevens. Now Page busting back out of the ambulance. Ricochet getting just right to the midsection, the back of the ambulance. Again, Ricochet getting slung into the back of the ambulance. And again, stopping him at the door. You got it. And remember, to win this match, both doors have to be closed. And he almost had it. Almost, almost had it. Ricochet, try to put Page back there now. Page with a reversal. Again, midsection right to the back of the ambulance. That can't feel good. Now Adam Page getting flung into the ambulance. And again, test of strength. Ricochet might have it this time. Page has been put through hell so far. This could very well be the end. And no, Page busts back open and falls right outside. Now Ricochet being thrown into the ring. 
Page shutting the doors on the ambulance and ricochet over the top. Tope almost into the ambulance. My goodness, now Ricochet picking up the chair that Paige brought out earlier. Right to the shoulder. And again to the midsection. Paige with a reversal. The f overhanded forearm. Big reversal there by Ricochet. Stomp to the arm now. Drop kick to the side of the head. Reversal. Knee to the chair. Uppercut. Oh, knee to the face of Adam Page. Ricochet now. Climbing the ambulance. My goodness, this is this is not this is not in a good idea. Adam Page following Ricochet up the ambulance. My goodness. This is chaos. Kick to the midsection. Oh no. Oh no. Power bomb. Power bomb off of the ambulance. And then a splash. Oh, what a combination. My God. The crowd is on their feet chanting, This is awesome. Good God, what a combination. A power bomb to ricochet off of the ambulance into an immediate splash. Backbreaker to Ricochet. The man's already broken. Now a leg drop. If he isn't paralyzed now, he's trying to paralyze him for sure. Picks him up. Oh, God. Dude Buster on the, <laughs> on the baseball bat. My gracious. Just open the back of the ambulance and throw him in. Good God. God, sidewinder on the neck. Oh, God, making sure that he's down for good. Another dude buster onto the outside. Good Lord, throwing Ricochet into the ring. The only way to beat, to win this match is to throw him in the back of the ambulance. Stomp to the back. They're just working on Ricochet now. Knees to the leg. Good lord, now a knee to the back. Adam Page with the upper hand in this match. Picks him up. Another stalling suplex gets reversed by Ricochet to the back of the leg. I think Adam Page's best option. Oh my god. Leaping through the air in a bulldog position. I think Adam Page's best time to win this match was when he hit two dude busters and threw him off the back of the bloody ambulance. Now Ricochet opening, opening the ambulance. Sledgehammer to the back of Adam Page. Ricochet saying that it is not over. Cannonball in the turnbuckle. My gracious, Ricochet heading to the top rope, but Adam Page back to his feet. Dodges. Big kick right to the side of the head of Ricochet. Ricochet has to have a concussion. I don't know how he's breathing. After only being powerbombed, having all the wind knocked out of you on the ground, and then to have someone follow that up with a slam, Northern Lights into a suplex. I, I don't know how Ricochet is breathing. I don't know how he's walking, let alone still in the match. Middle rope with a DDT. Good lord of mercy. Ricochet to the top. Shooting star. Good god alive. And again! Now I don't know how Adam Page is going to continue to breathe. Throwing him to the outside. Ricochet. Picking up the baseball bat. 
knee to the face of Adam Page. Back in the ring. Going up to the top on the outside. And a shooting star to the outside. My God. Uppercut. And I don't think Ricochet's done. Climbing to the top of the ambulance trying to get some payback maybe. Jumps down. But trying to climb back up now. Didn't mean to get down. Adam Page though. Moved away. Ricochet though. Not waiting. Went for a splash and it connects. Adam Page though. With the upper hand. On Ricochet. Northern Lights suplex. Forearm punch. Adam Page. Trying to go for something here, but Ricochet reverses. Ricochet with a big reversal. Ricochet throws him in there. Not immediately going for the pin. I don't think he wants this match to end. Going back inside, going to the other side of the ring. Going for a shovel. Might be trying to bury Adam Page. Adam Page jumps right out of the ambulance. Oh my god. Big boot out of nowhere. And now just beating him up on the outside on the other side of the ring now. Akin to how they were at the beginning of the match. Putting him in a submission hold. Now another Northern Lights to Adam Page. Reversing into a suplex. To a brain buster. Adam Page though getting back to his feet. Ricochet keeping him down. Again running back over Adam Page. Trying to throw him against the apron. Good lord. That'll drive the wind out of you. Knee right to the face. Just about on that shovel. Now Paige picking up the shovel gets reversed. Ricochet with a combination. And a hurricane Rana. Good god. What a Frankensteiner. Standing splash. Ricochet with a baseball bat. With a baseball bat on Adam Page. Forearm. And a good God, a clothesline from hell. Good God. Another huge move there by Ricochet. Another face buster. Buckshot Lariat from outside of the ring. Now the Hurricane Rana. Now Ricochet working on the leg. Good lord, look at how it's turned. Awful, awful turn on that. Ricochet picking up the shovel. Again, nobody getting hit with a shovel. Clothesline from behind. Adam Page throwing Ricochet. Just getting him away. Picking him up, putting him on his shoulders. Good God, almost on the steel steps. Throwing him in to the ambulance. Super kick. 
My goodness. And again, Irish. Adam Page throwing Ricochet in the back of the ambulance. This very well might be the end here. He's got one door shut. Now he's fighting Ricochet, trying to keep the second door open. Trying to keep the second one open, and he got it! Adam Page has slammed the doors on Ricochet. The match comes to an end. Your Clash Case winner, Adam Page, winning the first ever ambulance match. Congratulations, Adam Page. Now we move on to the main event of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, the man that is gracing stardom on the cover, Chris Danger. A first time ever world championship match between Chris Danger and the Dashing One. I don't know what the fuck that is. What the hell? Why is Kyle O'Reilly on the back of Chris Danger? What the hell? Okay, well, hopefully he takes the shirt off in the match. Anyway. Nope. Fuck. Well, I guess we're just going to be looking at that the whole time. I don't... That's so strange. This game has a new glitch every single day, and it looks like the dashing one is being accompanied by Darius Butler... A part of Pat McAfee's crew. Dashing one always bringing someone, not always, but bringing someone special with him from time to time to the ring. Like when he brought Dolph Ziggler in. Or Ryan Nimeth. McNimeth, sorry. McNimeth. Into Gulf Coast Wrestling. Back in, oh god, back at Destiny, I think, of last year. Now the dashing one with a world championship. Taking on Chris Danger, I believe for the first time ever in a world championship match. The dashing one has held this championship for quite a while. He won the championship a minute ago. I believe it was. Let me just double check. October 28th, 2023. He has held this championship... For 329 days. That is the s third longest reign for this championship. The longest reign for the championship was when it was the best of the Indies. When Kennedy Kid held the championship for 561 days. Adam Cole, runner up, with 547. Now the dashing one. What was it that I said? The dashing one with 329 days. I think my recording is frozen. Oh, there it goes. Hopefully it didn't freeze for the thing. 329 days by the dashing one. The a dominant, dominant reign. And now being accompanied by Darius Butler out here. Chris Danger is a former best of the Indies champion, might I remind you. He was the second ever best of the Indies champion, all the way back. And he won it December 23rd, 
2017. A long time ago. He held it until September 27th, 2018. He's, let's see, what, six days off from being six years without a world championship? Yeah. It will be six years since Danger has won a championship in Gulf Coast Wrestling. Pretty sure he's never won the internet championship. So yeah, it's been six years since then we've had a lot of champions between. He held his best of the Indies championship for 279 days. Dropkick, Danger running out of the gate, but dashing one saw out coming. Not sure why Kyle O'Reilly's there, but either way. Going for the pin with a tour of the islands and a kick out by Danger. You see Darius Butler on the outside cheering on the dashing one. Still not sure why the dashing one brought out Darius Butler. The dashing one going right after Danger. Another drop kick. Much different to how most of the dashing one's matches go. Usually they're slow and methodical to start off the match. But this is this is going. And Danger with a big reversal. Now the combination by Danger and a forearm. Right to the face. Now a suplex. Going for the pin. And a kick out. Danger. Gets rolled up. Going for the pin. One. And a kick out. Went for a clothesline. Danger reversed. Now Danger trying to slow down the pace and bouncing the champion's face off the mat. Off of the ropes into a forearm. In the form, danger with the upper hand here so far in the match. Drops down. Jumps over. Dashing with a reversal. Did he grab a football? Dashing one takes out the referee. Curb stomp. Trying to use the referee, but a pop-up! Pop-up stunner going for the pin. Two. And a kick out by Danger. My goodness, a pop-up stunner out of nowhere after the distraction. With a football. Darius Butler brought it a football for the dashing one to use. And again, another tour of the islands. Danger back to his feet, though, in a drop kick. Danger back to his feet again. Both men went high and missed. Super kick to the back of the head. Danger though now. A stomp. Oh. Dashing was sliding to the outside. Taking a walk around the ring. Went for the clothesline. Gets reversed by Danger. Dash room with the football. Danger! Eat defeat! Taste of danger! Going for the pin. The referee distracted. Throwing the football out of the ring. And a kick out, not even a one count. Drop kick. Drop kick to the side of the head. The dash room with a kendo stick. Trying to use the kendo stick, but danger reversed him. While the ref was distracted, trying to use the kendo stick, and danger again reversed. Or sorry, dashing one reversed. Super kick gets reversed by da Danger. Dodged. It's forearm. Dashing one trying to get back to his feet. Trying not to stay down. Irish whip into the ropes. Drop both feet. Wait for the super kick was too far. Forearm again. The dashing one misjudged the distance of the super kick, but Danger didn't. 
Darius Butler running interference for the dashing one. Distracting danger, allowing the dashing one to get back to his feet. Spear! Going for the spear. But the ref, not counting, ejecting Darius Butler. Are you kidding me? The referee not paying attention and danger immediately kicks out. The Dashi one. Darius Butler was ejected. Trying to save the dashing one, but inadvertently might have cost him the championship. Working on the legs of danger. Stomp to the knees. Darius Butler is out of this match. Throwing danger into the ropes. Off of the top rope. Or off the middle rope. The dashing one calling danger to get up. Forearm to the back of the neck is reversed. Off the ropes, danger reverses. Or dashing one reverses. Good God, it's chaotic. Samoan drop. Dashing one picking danger back up. Right across the chest. Shoulder tackle. Now the bow. Stomp gets reverse super kick. Super kick, drop kick. Trying to take danger off his feet. Trying to keep him on the ground. Dangerous, dangerous asset are his feet. With taste of danger and his super kick he loves to hit. Big reversal there. A dashing one. Calling danger back up to his feet. Going for the dragon sleeper. How he's put away so many other opponents. But danger. Danger with the escape. Danger with the reversal. Throwing him outside of the ring. Taking the time to talk. Oh my god. He slid out of the ring. I genuinely was not expecting that. <laughs> now just the rapid punches on the outside. Danger. Getting back inside the ring. Has to win this match if I have pinfall or submission. If the ref counts out the dashing one, the dashing one will win by a champion's advantage. A danger again, trying to fly to the outside, but gets reversed. The dashing one now, with the upper hand on the inside. Super kick! This time it connects! Going for the pin! One, two, three! In a chaotic, fast-paced, can't-breathe match. Your winner, and still, the world champion, the dashing one, Chase. Continuing the reign. Thank you so much for joining us on Stardom. I will announce the next pay-per-view. The next pay-per-view will be Reloaded, a tribute to WCPW, November 23rd, 2024. Thank you for joining